Hey guys, I'm Jess McDonald. It is the 26th of November and you're watching GameSpot News, which does not endorse winning your console, though we do happen to have a story to that effect. You can't make this stuff up. Broken disk drives are a thing of the past for engineering mastermind Dave D, who, and I quote, gave a couple of hard whacks to his malfunctioning Xbox One. The culprits seem to be various grinding and clicking noises and a bugged disk drive, but as Mr. D in his YouTube video illustrates, flipping the thing upside down and whacking it on the area above the Blu-ray drive will fix it right up. A number of Xbox Ones have reportedly been suffering from this fairly common issue, and thankfully it turns out that hitting things is indeed, as we expected, a totally viable method of fixing them. The other suggested method for fixing this known issue is to pick up your Xbox One and slam it down on a flat surface. Now is probably a good time to mention that if you do decide to hit your console, you probably do so at your own risk. The problem is apparently a gear which isn't lined up, and this results in noises and an inability to use the drive. Then again, as you can expect, Microsoft have suggested you pick up the phone and get a new one, which they'll ship to you right away instead of whacking your Xbox One. What are your thoughts on this one? Are you just happy to see results or disinclined to enact violence on your rather expensive console? Let me know. Speaking of broken Xbox Ones, and it seems like there are quite a number of them, Microsoft have decided to be your best friend on this one, and not just the dick that shrugs his shoulders and walks away, leaving you with a rather expensive paperweight. Earlier in the week, Microsoft said that if your Xbox One is broken, they'll ship you a new one before you've even returned your old one, and the deal just got sweeter. A Microsoft rep said they want these unfortunate console owners to stay in the game, so they're getting gifted a free download of an Xbox One launch title. These titles include Dead Rising 3, for to Motorsport 5, Rise, Son of Rome, or Zoo Tycoon. What do you think of Microsoft's move here, and are you now less disinclined to hit at your console knowing that you could get a free game out of it? GameSpot doesn't endorse that either. GameSpot doesn't endorse any of my insane ramblings. Last up, the Steam machines are coming, or at least a prototype has been revealed, and it's crazy pretty. The lit up green and white box is also nifty on the inside though, since it purports to run all Steam titles at 1080p and 60 frames per second. PC developer iBuyPower revealed the first images of the system that will launch next year. In what is either a lovely tribute or a nostalgic blow for expectant Half-Life fans, the black and white Steam box prototypes have been codenamed Gordon and Freeman respectively. Does seeing the thing make you any more likely to buy yourself a Steam box? You can let me know in the comments down below or on my Twitter where I'm at Jess McDonald. That is it for today's highly console related news, but I'll be back with another stack of whatever on earth is going on tomorrow, so check back with me then.